Go. Yeah. Okay, so here we have Pong with interferometry. I'm going to walk you through the setup of our lab and then show you how you actually play it. So we have a laser here that's coming and being coupled into a fiber, an optical fiber. This fiber then goes and goes through two uh, 50, uh, 50 beam splitters. So one is here and the other one is back here. And in between them you have a Mach Zender interferometer. Um, so we can change the optical path length of one of the arms with this plate. Uh, you'll see that there's two electrodes here and depending on the voltage difference between the two electrodes you get a different temperature on this plate which makes this fiber expand or contract really finely. And the wavelength that we're using is 1550 nanometers so all you have to do to get a full period swing on your interferometer is just to change this fiber by 1550 nanometers which is like one micron. So we can do that by adjusting this. You can see the output of the signal back over here and when I change the voltage you should be able to see it start to swing. So that's one period there and there's a second period. Our detector circuit, I'm going to walk you through that. So the fiber optic output comes through here. It's just an Arduino. I've got a, a, a photodiode here uh, and uh, there's a noise filter in there and then we're measuring the distance, uh, the, the difference across a, a resistor. Uh, the analog to digital conversion happens uh, on the Arduino which is then pumped into a Python program that's uh, querying the Arduino and then as the interference pattern changes, the intensity, it'll move this paddle up and down. So noise from the environment is an issue, but if I can take care of that and uh, time this correctly, maybe I can get back at this computer that's currently beating us 13 to 46. So I try to position in the middle and then I can swing it. Uh, that's, that was a big swing there. I can swing it right before it comes. It's really tricky though because there's a slight delay with the temperature and so if I were to change the temperature like right now, so three, two, one, change, you see that it takes, it takes a couple seconds for it to actually swing. So I don't think that you can actually like use this to really play a game of Pong. There's a lot of noise in the background. We'd have to do a, a, a lot of uh, setups so that our arms were shorter and our interferometer. Um, but you definitely have what it takes to play a game of Pong using a Moxinder interferometer. Thanks for watching.